Hi, welcome to my video on NISM Series 21B Portfolio Manager Certification Exam. In this particular video, based on the request received from some of the viewers, I am going to take you through case study 4, which is basically about solving problems related to time weighted rate of return, TWRR, money weighted rate of return, MWRR, and risk adjusted return. In order to help you understand this concept in a better way, I am going to take uh, Excel based exercise, which will help you to get an idea about how to solve this, uh, uh, these problems, because when you write the exam, you will also get Excel, uh, which will be made available to you and you can use Excel to solve the questions of the case. Study. Now you can see this particular case study, which I will quickly read it out for you because the same case study that you will be used in subsequent four slides. So investment of a client was handled by a PMS provider for five years. So we know there's a duration of five years here, time frame of five years here. During these five years, the client kept on investing into the fund at the beginning of the each year. So it's very clear that the investment is happening at the start of the year. Uh, rupees 50 lakhs, 35, 30 lakhs, 20 lakhs, 15 lakhs and 10 lakhs were invested and the accumulated fund generated 35 percent minus 8, minus 5, 25 and 20 percent at the end of the each year. So fund was invested in the beginning, returns came at the end. The client expected a net return after tax of 12.5 percent on this entire investment by the end of the five years. The average tax that the client could attract is 15 percent. And subsequently, as you can see, the average rate of return on the relevant benchmark was 15% with a standard deviation of 12% and risk-free rate of 6% for the same five years, okay? So the question that is asked, the first question is, what is time-weighted rate of return? So let me explain this with the help of uh, one Excel exercise. So here, the first thing that you need to do is you need to type all the five years because it's an investment which is made for five years. The return has been given to you, which is also clearly mentioned in the case, 35%, minus 8%, minus 5%, and 25%. You can see it here. It, is, it comes directly from this particular data that we have used. What you do as the next part is that you add the return with the value of 1, which is 1 plus 35%. Remember, you are adding a number to percentage. So 1 plus 35 percent to translate into 1.35, that is what you will get as the answer. Excel will auto format it and give you the values, else you can do the formatting yourself. You will end up getting all these five values once you add one to each of the return values. Like 1 plus minus 8 percent is equal to 0.92 because you are adding 1 plus minus 8 percent. Do not forget that. So that's why this value has become lower value here very clearly. As you can see, this value is less than 1 because you have added minus 8. Uh, that's why uh, this is what you are getting as the solution. Now, as part of the next step, you multiply all these five values, which is 1.35 multiplied by 0 0.92 multiplied by, sorry, 1.35 multiplied by uh, 0 0.92 multiplied by 0 0.95, further multiplied by 1.25 and 1.20 then you will end up getting the overall value either as a number 0 0.7699 or 76.99 percent as you can see here now this is the entire five year period return so you convert it into annualized return how do you do that you write a simple formula in excel which i'm repeating for you as it is not mentioned here 76.99 percent raised to and uh, your keyboard you will have the raised to function just above the six number that you have on the keyboard so you check that so 76.99 raised to open bracket one upon five close bracket minus one that is what you have to do and you will end up getting a solution which will be 12.10 which is what is mentioned here and this is the answer that you have to select here so this is your answer this is how you calculate the time weighted rate of return now, how do you calculate the money weight, money weighted rate of return? Here, I'm not reading the entire case, but I'm just giving you the solution. Now, investment amount have been, first of all, the year has been written as you wrote in case of time weighted rate of return. 
then you write the investment amount now this investment amount comes from the values that we have here 50 lakhs 30 lakhs 20 lakhs 15 lakhs and 10 lakhs now once you have written this what you do is that you find out what is the return value that you have so as you can see the return values here are given as this much now end of the year value that you have okay you have to just be careful here because first year value which you see here is uh, increasing by 35 percent and becoming this value but in the subsequent year in spite of making the investment your value is going down to this so what you do is you add these two values first value and the second value you add both of them and then you multiply it by 0.92 so you will end up getting the value that you can see here at the end of the second year okay so second year value that you are getting is after adding the first year end values investment and multiplication of it by 0.92 now once you have these values you will get the year end value and the year end value will be fifth year end value will be this much which you can see here after you have reached to this fifth year end value then you calculate the return by writing minus 50 lakhs first one minus 30 lakhs second one and like that up to minus 10 lakhs because these are the five investments that you made and then finally what you are realizing is this value which is the value coming directly from here and then you use the function which is irr so from irr function using irr function you will get this answer which is 11.61 and that is what you will select as the answer here also so this will become your answer actually so this is your money weighted rate of return this is how you calculate the money weighted rate of return now let me move to the third question which is not a calculation but a rather simple one it says what kind of portfolio strategy has been used by the pms provider there is no mention of the portfolio strategy if you read the case you will not get any strategy uh, it's five year investment that's what it talks about okay and the client is making investment and there is no mention of portfolio manager so you can select this answer very easily it will be can't guess buy and hold strategy is a strategy where you make investment and hold till, till maturity uh, there is no maturity which is mentioned here <clears throat> constant mix mix and constant protection uh, portfolio strategy is also not mentioned here so what do we do next we move to the final calculation which is about calculating what is the ratio of excess return of investment to its total risk so using arithmetic mean we have to find this out so how do we find the arithmetic mean we write all the five returns which we have been using in all the cases and then we use the function average in excel to get mean so there is a function average a b e r a g equal to average you write and you get this mean and then you use standard deviation which is stdeb function I'm repeating it equal to STDEB. That is the standard deviation function. You find out the standard deviation. You take the risk free return, and then how do you find the answer for the question? Solution formula is given as mean minus risk free return upon standard deviation. This will give you a value of 0 0.39. Again, your answer will be this one. Now, having solved this four questions for you in this video i will just like to tell you that thank you so much for going through this video i'm sure you have like this video if you have liked it and if this solution has helped you please do like this video and also subscribe to my channel thank you so much